Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we also get our December 2024 Stat Counter Desktop Windows Version Market Share Server results. So just to compare the percentages between November and December of last year. Now out of the six Windows versions featured in this survey, three have increased in their market share and three have decreased exactly the same when it came to the desktop browser um, market share by Stat Counter, which I posted on earlier today and that video will be linked down below and in the end screen. Now, Windows 8 is one of the versions to increase very slightly from 0.16% to 0.18% between November and December. Windows XP has decreased from 0.25 to 0.23% and I have noticed over the last month or so, a couple of months actually, that Windows XP is decreasing in its market share where um, for a good couple of months it was in the 0.30% and now is decreasing ever so slightly from month to month. And then Windows 8.1 has decreased from 0.31% to 0.29%. And Windows 7 has also decreased from 2.47% to 2.4%. So all of those we've just mentioned are unsupported versions of Windows, as you may well know. Now, Windows 11 has decreased in its market share from 34.94% to 34.1%. But although it's decreased in its market share, we're going to come back to Windows 11 because there is something interesting that has taken place over the last year in regards to Windows 11. And then Windows 10 has increased in its market share from 61.82% to 62.73%. And Windows 10 at this stage doesn't seem to be going anywhere too fast, although we've got less than a year left before the end of support later this year on the 14th of October um, 2025, according to Microsoft. But with that type of market share, I don't think Windows 10 is going to be going anywhere soon. And it's going to be interesting to see if Microsoft officially does end support for the OS later this year, which I personally don't think they will. There's too much market share, although unless something really drastic takes place over the next couple of months. Now, with that all out of the way, if we head down to the chart, yeah, we can see that in January of 2024, Windows 10 started the year at 66.47% and ended the year at 62.73%. So over the course of 2024, give or take, Windows 10 decreased by give or take 2%. Now, here's the interesting one, as I mentioned, we're going to get back to. So if we head to Windows 11, and here we can see that over the course of 2023, Windows 11 from month to month, uh, give or take, was increasing in its market share. Now, Windows 11 started the year in January 2024, last year, at 27.83% and ended the year at 34.1%, and I calculated that to be an increase of 6.27%. So out of the different Windows versions that are represented, um, obviously for the top six by stat counter in the survey, Windows 11 was the only Windows version to increase um, quite drastically by 6.27%. Windows 10 decreased, as I mentioned, by give or take 2%. Windows 11 increased by over 6%. So this had the most increase in market share, but I think that is to be expected because obviously towards the end of last year, 2024, uh, there was a lot of migration over to Windows 11 because of Copilot Plus PCs, obviously with the upcoming end of support for Windows 10. There are a lot of users who are now moving over to Windows 11, so that is expected. But I thought that was interesting. Windows 11 had the most increase in its market share, according to StatCounter, over the course of 2024. And if we have a quick look at Windows 7, just the, the top three, that started 2024 at 3.05% and ended at 2.4%. So, so not much, too much movement there, but it is decreasing, and that is to be expected because obviously Windows 7 
is unsupported. And that's a quick look at the market share for the desktop Windows versions between November and December 2024. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.